All right, today I'm going to tell you how to take the practice midterm exam and how to check your work and how to see what the correct answers should be. So let's get started. I'm here on the assignments tab in Canvas and right now the assignments are grouped by date. So there's a few upcoming assignments, the midterm, the actual midterm test, the multiple choice final and the practical final, but then everything else is kind of lumped together here and it's hard to sort through it. So first thing I like to do is click on this show by type link up here. That groups everything into categories that make it a lot easier to sort through. So the first category up here is safety tests and waivers. So if you click on the down arrow you can see those. You can click on the arrow again to hide that. And we have lab quizzes, core competencies. The group that we're interested in right now is the tests. So the online midterm exam is the actual test, and that's not available until October 13th, but the practice online midterm is what we want, so we're going to click on that. And that takes us over to the practice midterm page. So at the top here you can see the midterm exam rules. You should read through those and become familiar with the rules for the test. These are the same rules that you'll see for the actual midterm, so that just gives you an overview of what you can and cannot do while you're taking the test. And then down here is the test itself. So at the bottom there's a little button to take the test or to retake it if you've already taken it uh, before. So to get started you click on that button and then this pops up the test. So at the top here you'll notice that there's a big sign letting you know that this is a practice. This is only a practice test, it's not the real thing. I do this because the practice test and the actual midterm look very, very similar to each other. And in the past, some students have gotten confused and have taken the, the real midterm when they thought they were taking the practice. So the real midterm will have a warning up here letting you know that it's the actual test. This one has the warning up here telling you it's just a practice, so you don't have to worry about it. So on the test itself, you can see that there is a circuit diagram with four resistors and a power supply and at the top there's a, a bit of text that tells you what resistor values to use. These resistor values change each time that you take the test so you can take it as many times as you want and you will always have different resistor values to practice with. So up here at the top right now, you can see R1 is 4,908 ohms, R2 is 9,170, R3 is 9,649, and R4 is 7,508. So those are the values that you should plug in for your circuit here. Once you plug in those values, you should use your knowledge of series parallel circuits to calculate the total resistance and the total current as well as the voltage and the current for each of the resistors. You can, you can figure this out on paper or you can build the circuit in multi-sim and um, measure the values from your simulation. Either way is fine, it's totally up to you. I actually recommend doing both things to check your work, but um, it's totally up to you. I'm not going to go into the details on how to do that right now because I covered that in a separate video. So right now I'm just going to show you how to actually enter the, the data into the test. Okay. So you'll notice that below the circuit there is this table with um, boxes where you can enter your data. So the, I guess the, the most important thing to pay attention to is the units. You'll notice that each value, each box, has a unit associated with it. So RT, total resistance, has a unit of ohms here. Okay, um, The voltage has a unit of volts, but all the current have units of milliamps. So you need to make sure that when you enter your numbers, you enter values in the correct units. So um, when you type in your resistance, make sure that it's in ohms and the current needs to be in milliamps. So for instance, if you got a total current of 0.5 amps, you wouldn't just type in 0.5, you'd have to convert that into milliamps. 
So that would be 500 milliamps. So you type in a total current of 500 milliamps here. Okay. So make sure that you are using the correct units when you type in your values. So once you know what values you have for your circuit, you just go ahead and type those in. Like I said, I'm not going to calculate them right now. I'm just going to make up numbers. But when you're taking the test, of course, you would actually do the calculations and figure out what these numbers are. But just for the sake of argument, I'm just going to put in some numbers here. And then once you are finished and you've put in um, numbers in all of the boxes, you click on this button down here at the bottom that says Submit and End. And then there'll be a dialog. It pops up. It says, After submitting, you'll not be able to change your answers. Are you sure you want to submit? And you say OK. Now, um, here, this shows your score. And it looks like I actually got 10%. I must have guessed right at random on one of the answers here. Um, but I don't know which one, and I want to... I want to figure out what I got right and what I got wrong. So the way that you do that is you can come over here to review questions. So you click on this tab that says review questions, and then this shows you how you did. So, um, so again, it, it reminds you of the circuit that you used and the um, resistor values that you were using for that circuit. And then down here at the bottom, it shows you your answers and it shows you a little red X if you got something wrong, and a green check mark if you got something right. So it looks like I guessed close enough to V3 that I got that answer correct. But I'd like to know what V3 actually should have been, and what all these other answers should have been, um, just so that I can, I can figure out what I did right and what I did wrong. So the way that you figure out what the answers should have been is you click on this little button down here, that has a key on it. It says view key. So I click on that and then the test actually shows me what all of the answers should have been. So um, you can see what the, the test thinks that each of the values should have been. It thinks that V3 should have been 2.77 volts. And I put in 3 volts but it marked me right because each of the answers has a tolerance of 10%. So V3 will be correct if it's 2.77 volts plus or minus 10% um, of that, which would be 0.277 volts. Um, so it looks like I got just close enough that close enough to the correct answer to be marked right for that one. Um, but all of the other ones were wrong, since I just guessed. So, by clicking on the key, you can see what the answers actually should have been, and then um, if you got anything wrong, hopefully that can help you figure out um, what happened and how to make it right. So that's how you answer, how you enter your answers for the test, and how you can check your work. Now this test can be taken over and over again. It can be taken up to a hundred times. So if you want to do more practice, you can just come up here and click on the button that says retake, and then you can take the test over again. So that's how you enter your answers for the practice midterm and how you check your work when you're done. Um, happy practice and good luck.